We know how you got involved. Why, why did you get involved with why, why did Why this film? Why this subject? And I'm going to go ahead and tag that because there's two of you so I can do that. Uh, it, it was kind of addressed in this film, I don't know if it's specifically said, is, is black market fertility, is that, I mean, is that a thing? It's kind of, it is definitely a thing. Um, and so, uh, to address that part of it really quick, uh, it was Kevin, and it, we, it was like another kid's birthday or something, and Kevin said, hey, I saw a 2020 special about these guys that are anonymous sperm donors online, and they're doing it to just make a difference in the world, and, and kind of, uh, for, for good reasons, I'm sure, and for this is not something that I would recommend. Um, so, but it was fascinating, and so we researched it. We actually uh, met a guy that was uh, that does it full time. That, that's where we got the number thirty. By the way, he had fathered thirty children, and uh, his wife and his three kids have no idea that he's out doing it. So it is a real thing. Wow. Uh, you guys have heavy conversations at right? kids' parties, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Most people are like, ah, my kid's a jerk. Yeah, you guys are like, let's talk about the uh, fertility, black market fertility. <laughs> um, and then, uh, and, and then uh, this script, why, I mean, that's, that's why, obviously, you, you brought it up in, in the conversation. Uh, and then how did the script come to be? How did it, how did it manifest itself? Um, you, uh, so it, we really pulled from, so everything that, it, that we went through in the film, we kind of went through emotionally. Uh, we did not, uh, uh, I do the black market thing, I don't think. <laughs> no, no, my son looks like me, I promise. Um, and we were, uh, Avery and I are, are one of the lucky ones, so through the fertility process and, and all that comes with it, uh, we were blessed and we um, conceived naturally, and our son Kieran uh, is two and a half, and, and Kevin and Kristen did the exact same thing. We were right behind them, and they were blessed to, uh, to, to have their second kid as well, so... Uh, that's why we wrote it, and and the and Benji, I can, you can talk about more of the process of it. Yeah, like the the, the production of it and all that sort of. Yeah, we did an Indiegogo. Uh, some people in the room here help support us. Thank you. Yeah, thank so you. Much. If you're out there. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, our goal is, you know, Rob and I have done um, commercial work, advertising mainly, and kind of cut our teeth in the business that way. But we've always wanted to do meaningful work, dramas, and um, touch on subject matter that you know really gets to the heart of, of how humans act and our behavior. So um, yeah, when the topic came up, we knew it was ripe and, and no one had done something in this kind of genre. And uh, we looked to try and do a feature film. We kind of couldn't really fund that and figured, let's just do a short. Let's make it as long as we can make it. And um, yeah, with the Indiegogo fund, we, were, we got just enough money to get squeezed four days of shooting. Everyone who was uh, part of the cast and the crew um, did like $100 a day, which is insane. Still haven't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, it wasn't on paper, it wasn't written, it was uh, verbal, very verbal. Actually, I think Jim tore up his check, which was a big help. So, um, a lot of our actors tore up their checks. So, I mean, really, it was just like, um, it was like a family for four days. We cranked out an airport and, you know, a hotel conference in a, inside a hotel room and stuff. So, um, yeah, and then uh, since then, we've just been like trying to get out to festivals off the ground, and uh, we got in touch with Gravitas Distribution. They saw the film, and, and they wanted to get behind it, and so um, that cool. was a, that's been a big part for it getting out to the world. And, yeah, and talking about the production end of it, uh, Mitch, also one of the producers on it, well, uh, what was the, aside from working with me, what was the hardest part about working on the project? <laughs> that was it. It was that? <laughs> uh, what was the hardest, because uh, you know, uh, dealing with the low budget, you know, uh, you're shooting at the Burbank Airport, uh, what's the hardest part about working on this thing? Yeah, I mean, look, it was, it was, it was putting a, a, a one-day budget on a four-day shoot. Um, that was difficult. Um, you know, and when, you, when, you, when they came to me with the script and, you know, we're looking at a, at a convention center and we're looking at an airport and they were like, you know, well, should we like leave the airport in? Should we take it out? I was like, no, 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 leave it in. We'll do it. We'll do it. And then I'm like, oh shit, what did I just do? <laughs> um, but no, I mean, you know, the hardest part was definitely the budget and, and the schedule. Uh, you know, we could have used five or six days, um, but, you know, we had an amazing crew, we had an amazing cast. I mean, you know, everyone was nailing their jobs. Yeah. So the hardest part was getting there. Absolutely, absolutely. Now let's talk to some of these cast members. Uh, first of all, Avery.